Hi guys, welcome to my channel. We're going to be watching The Foster Season 2, Episode 19. This one is called Justify the Means. I did not realize until right now when I was setting this up that I'm so close to the finale for Season 2. There's only two more episodes after this. So yeah, it's really close. Um, I mean, even though it's that close, it's still probably going to be in another two weeks before I actually finish season two. But um, I'm still, I'm really excited. I hope that um, with the ending of season two, we're going to resolve the uh, Callie, Steph, Lena, Robert custody battle thing that's going on. Um, I really hope that Lena and Steph will win. I don't know though. Robert is her father biologically. He didn't know anything about her until now. He's rich. So I, I really don't know how this is going to go. I hope he puts Callie's needs above his own because that's what he should do as a parent. But also as a parent, I understand wanting to have your child with you. So I don't know how this is going to go, but I have hope, a little bit of hope. <laughs> I, I tend to think the bad things are going to happen more than the good. Um, I'm like that in life. Um, unfortunately, which is not a good way to be. So don't be that way, but I don't know. We will see what happens. But if you guys would like to follow me on Twitter, would like to get early access to my reactions. would like to watch the full reactions over my Patreon. The links are down below. Let's get into this episode. I just don't feel like you should be spending any more money on lawyers. No offense. If the judge is just going to make me go live with them anyway, let us worry about the money. Love. The immediate goal right now is to keep you in this house with us for as long as possible. Oh, nothing. Just that Callie's moving out. Um, I can't find anyone to dance on my dance team. He's just going to boarding school, but other than that, I'm awesome. Wait, you're, you're going, going to, to boarding, boarding school? school? No. Maybe. Probably not. They <laughs> offered him a scholarship. <laughs> Academic? Academic? No, uh, <laughs> They're so Russell surprised. And the school's in Colorado. Moms want a baby, and Anna's having a girl, and she's her sister, and it's perfect. How could they not? It's fate. Ugh, we're gonna be late. It's not gonna happen. Oh, how, how do you know? I talk to moms. Oh, good. That means I don't have to move in with Jude. I mean, I, I guess that's too bad about Anna. Cat and for Mariana. I mean, she's gonna be really upset. Why haven't they told her? I don't know if they told Anna. Well, you know, Monty went to boarding school. Oh. Did she? Didn't know that. She said it saved her life. Hmm. No troubled youth, did she? She said it was the only reason she got into a good college. That's true. She went to Harvard. Princeton, actually. No, oh, well, la di da Well, since we're running all of our big family decisions past your new boss, maybe I should meet her. <clears throat> Don't you want to run it by Mike? Ah, uh, <laughs> that's funny. What is this about? Oh boy. What was that? Please try out for my dance team. Look, I quit cheerleading and I started wrestling because I didn't want to be the silly girl on the sidelines. I wanted to be in the game. We are the game. We're not cheering anybody else on. We're a competitive dance team. And you're very competitive. I just don't feel comfortable exploiting my sexuality. I'm asking you to dance, not to strip. <sighs> oh my God, that's disgusting. I told you. Look, I'm just kidding, but seriously, and he's begun. Hey, so you want to hang out after school? You can do our homework? Sure. Uh, you want to come over? Yeah, I'll meet you at the bench. I want to be happy, but hey, things friend. are still unresolved, I think. I Unfortunately, it's too late. They gave up Aww, your yeah, dang I, it. I figured. However, when I explained to them why you didn't jump at the scholarship. Oh, wait, you, you, you told them? Now the, they'll never consider me. That's not true. They said they'd make another spot for you. If you audition. Your Honor, uh, I understand that Callie is feeling confused about her decision to come live with me and my family. And because I want her to feel absolutely certain and secure in our home, I, I think she needs more time. So you're asking to go back to the waiting period? Yes, Your Honor. I think once a week visitation is probably not enough time for Callie to get to know her father. So, in addition, I'm going to give Mr. Quinn every other weekend as well. I mean, I, I kind of see where the judge is coming from. Yeah, he might seem a little biased, but he does have a point. Once a week, with that short amount of time, 
isn't really a lot of time, you know? I kind of get it. Doesn't mean I have to like it, but I get it. What the hell was that? Yeah, what was that? Robert asked the judge to give Callie more time before Callie even asked. And he knew why we were there. My bet is that he wanted to play the hero for Callie's benefit. Well, now she's going to have to spend every other weekend with him. And you think it was really worth it? Yes, because it uh, bought us time. For what? To get Callie emancipated. Huh? If we can get Callie emancipated before the waiting period is up, then she's no longer a ward of the state. She's considered an adult and wouldn't need anyone's consent to be adopted by us. But what happens if Robert finds out or the judge? No, emancipation petitions aren't heard in family court and Robert wouldn't find out. If Callie doesn't tell him, which is asking her to do exactly what we accused Robert to of. To give her a choice, not take it away, which is what Robert is trying to do. This is, uh, this is a very gray area. And so was not reporting Callie and Brennan as accessories to kidnapping. They were just trying to do the right thing. So are we. Uh, Monty, this is my wife, Steph. It's so nice to meet you. I've heard so many great things. Likewise. In fact, I was just saying that we should, uh, we should have you over for dinner sometime. I'd love that. How about tonight? Tonight? I'm sure she has plans. A actually, I don't, but are you sure? Yes, yes. We'd love to have you. Is she going to turn for the dance team? Can em Emma was a cheerleader, but that doesn't really mean that she could okay. dance like yeah. they dance. What are you doing here? Uh, aren't these open auditions? Are you? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> My dad said I could practice here, the, the piano. He said you wouldn't be home. I thought she moved out so already. Ah, okay. uh, yeah, I um, just got this letter returned to me. It's silly. Well, maybe the, the person moved. No, it's not the first one they've sent back. I'm really sorry I took that money from you. I shouldn't have done that. No, I, I shouldn't have. Uh... No, you were just trying to help your dad. He's a good man. He didn't do anything wrong. Your dad will be really happy you're playing piano again. You know he's going to look at the letter. I bet it was probably to Mariana and she's the one who keeps sending letters back. Oh, Callie's not getting it. Emma's doing pretty good, though. <laughs> she looks scared. <laughs> Looks like I had several good people out there. Cool, I'm just uh, being supportive, even if it was slightly humiliating. <laughs> so it was awesome. She rocked it. Kelly? Was awesome. No, she wasn't. You're in! <laughs> Kelly's like, what? Yes, you. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly's like, uh... Of course. Told you. I wanted to be happy, but he's still still playing with Jude. Well, I think it's it's good because you know, my dad's cool with this. Because you have a girlfriend. Yeah. Well, well, we all have fun together, don't we? I guess. There's nowhere to be alone in this house. Hey, if we sneak out tomorrow night, after TPing, we can hang out. You know, by ourselves. Then you have to prove that you can pay for an apartment and support yourself. I can't live with you? No, you can. The court just needs to see that you can afford to live on your own. In case we were to ever ask you to leave, which we would never do. An apartment costs a lot of money. Yeah, you'd have to get a full-time job and go to school. But remember, this is just temporary. Yeah, as soon as you're emancipated, we can adopt you right away. And you wouldn't have to maintain any of that. And you do need to keep this from Robert, which we don't feel good about. But uh, sometimes Kelly the end justifies the means. So that you I don't think that she should have to do this. I know they're desperate to get her, so, but I, I don't know. I don't like it. It's a lot to put on Callie, you know? Mom, she's mama. Can we talk about Timothy? Oh, sweetheart, why don't we just wait for the school assembly for that? I don't mind. 
I don't know if he got fired because he made us read that article on education reform, but I found it very informative. It laid out both sides of the debate, and if the point of Common Core is to make us deeper thinkers, then Timothy should be, like, on their poster. It's true. He's the best teacher I've ever had. Yeah, me too. He challenges us to consider all points of view and to think about, like, not just what we think about something, but why we think it. I really look forward to his class. We all do. No other teacher has made me want to learn as much as he does. Jump, jump, hands, hips. Okay, um, <laughs> but slow it down. It's supposed to look sexy, like this. Lip your hair and smile like, ooh, I know you want me. Yeah, no, I try yeah. it. Mm. <laughs> Can I ask, did the kids know that he was your donor? Yeah. They did. They did. Uh, it was supposed to be anonymous. <laughs> Since we're sharing, it was really funny, though, because um, Jesus came home unexpectedly and found Timothy's uh, deposit <laughs> in our bathroom. It was just... Oh, my. You know, now seeing how special Mariana is, I can see why you're so torn. Torn about what? Steph is not going to like that Lena's been sharing all this personal stuff with this woman. Oh, we are? We're, we're torn? I got an audition to Idlewild. They're going to give me another shot. That's great. Well, no, because I can't do both, and I really want to go to Idlewild. Okay, so tell the band. I mean, I'm sure they'll understand. I'm not sure if Lou will understand which is why I lied and told them that moms changed their mind about letting me go. You know, if Lou cared about him, she would be supportive. Mm, not really. <laughs> what I do want to know is, what the hell are you doing on Mariana's dance team? Um, I just, I felt bad for her, and so I was trying to be supportive. I never thought I'd make it. I'm not a good dancer. Well, just tell her then. I'm pretty sure she knows. What, that you don't want to be on the team? Oh, I can't. She needs six dancers. I'm stuck. I think you should just be honest with her. Did I ask you what you think? <laughs> tell you what. If you will, I will. I'm not going to feel bad about sharing something with a friend. Oh, so now she's a friend. It's interesting. I don't have that many people to talk to. So talk to me. I'm worried that Mariana will feel like we don't love her as much as we say we do. Oh, well, that's ridiculous. Okay. Good talk, thanks. Uh, hey, I don't mean that you're ridiculous, but... Mariana knows how much we love her. Come on. She was already worried that, that I'd love Frankie more than her. And if I wanted a baby that was part of me, why wouldn't I want one that, that's part of her? Why wouldn't we want a baby as beautiful as our Mariana? It's not that simple. We can't adopt Anna's baby because we feel guilty. I don't mind talking about this some more with you. I don't. But what I do mind is not knowing what you're thinking or feeling and hearing about it from another person outside this family before you share it with me. She's right. 